Welcome to my psalm devotional for this day. If you have a Bible, open it to Psalm 42. Let us pray. Bless us, O Lord, as we set aside some time to reflect on another psalm in our Bibles. Help us to digest what we learn even during these summer days. Amen. Here now Psalm 42 being read from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me continually, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I went with the throng, and I led them in procession to the house of God with glad shouts of songs of thanksgiving, a multitude keeping festival. So why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help, and my God. Still my soul is cast down within me. Therefore I remember you from the land of Jordan and Hermon and from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep at the thunder of your cataracts. All your waves and your billows have gone over me. By day the Lord commands his steadfast love and at night his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I walk about mournfully because the enemy oppresses me? As with a deadly wound in my body, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me continually, where is your God? Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. Now hear this psalm put to music by our quartet and with paraphrased words from Michael Morgan.
although many commentators say Psalm 42 and 43 go together, we'll just address Psalm 42 today. It begins with words that have been sung by many church members with the nature image. Quote, as a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul thirsts for you, O God. I don't know if you have ever felt like your soul is parched and dry, but there have been some, even in monastic life, who have felt compelled to pray those words or to sing them. Sometimes our souls long for God like we are so thirsty for water from a hot, dry journey. Our bodies need water. Our souls need quenching from God's word. The psalmist emphasized his need, quote, my soul thirsts for God, for the living God, quote, unquote. What a claim. God would probably be so pleased to know we were thirsty for the word instead of ignoring it or letting it pass over us like, like a breeze. Then the psalmist says, when shall I come and behold the face of God? That's the next question, probably a rhetorical one. And then we learn insights when the psalmist confesses, quote, my tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me continually, where is your God? What a powerful confession. It sounds like words from someone in depression or somebody experiencing a dark night of the soul. Have you ever felt that way? One of the most famous sermons from J. Wallace Hamilton, who was pastor of the Pasadena Methodist Church in St. Petersburg, Florida, used that question for its title, Where Now Is Thy God? People ask that question of believers after tornadoes and hurricanes and human tragedies. Where was God? And yet this psalmist remembers a grand testimony to others around him. These things I remember, he says, how I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God with glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving. What a difference between the questions from others and the action of a person who has now found his or her grounding in God again. This psalmist asks himself why he feels cast down, and he almost exhorts his own soul to find its hope in God again. These could be the words of a dejected and rejected person, one who in dark times felt forgotten by God. That led his soul to be feeling cast down yet again. People in monastic life and others often have come to this psalm and even continued reading Psalm 43 to read the words over and over, seeing if they could relate to those feelings and seeing if they could speak to God with words of hope again. Finding hope again is one of the main purposes of reading and rereading the Psalms. This is a good one to feel the relationship of someone else whose soul and whose eyes were filled with tears, yet one who turned to God. This Psalm does not end in anguish, but he tells himself to quote, hope in God, unquote. God is his help and ours. Thank you for joining me this week. I will bring you another psalm for consideration next week.